Our next guest is a Drew Gooder, as we call them around here, who takes giving back to a whole new level. I'm really inspired by Isaiah Garza, who has made it his mission to help strangers in need while sharing his journey. And like I said, he's got almost 7 million followers on TikTok. I mean, he has really made a dent. His posts have gone viral. He has a billion views. Um, and he's proof that kindness just exists in the world. And when we need to know it, when I need to know it, I look to his videos. Watch this. What's something I could do right now for you that would put a smile on your face? If you can buy me a tent. Buy you a tent? Yes, sir. I got you a tent, brother. I know you needed a tent, right? Yes, sir. You got that smile. I see it already. Hey, this is one of the best days of my life. You look like a beautiful mom with your kids. And I have some flowers if you wanted some. Thank you so much. I wanted to give you these flowers. Yeah, I'll give them to my wife. Yeah, give them to your wife. How long have you guys been together for? 30, over 30 years. 30 years? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I remember you told me how much it'd mean to get your hair done. So I got you an appointment to go get your hair done right now. Oh my God. How does that sound to you? It sounds good. Oh. Wow. What do you think? I love it. This has been amazing for me today. Thank you. You grew up in Washington. Um, you loved Vogue growing up. Oh, yeah. You have a whole fashion story, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you have actually have jewelry on, like, Selena Gomez, Rihanna, Cardi B. Yeah. Which is insane, because that's, like, not even the lead story with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you come up with your style, the way you do things, yeah. the way you video? How did this all come about? What was your inspiration? Um, the pandemic actually is what inspired me. You know, uh, I would see consistently, you know, families going through really hard times because of COVID and families just really struggling and so much media covering that portion of people struggling, right? Going through so many hard times. And I was like, why not this be the time where you just put out the best, most heartfelt, inspiring content you could possibly put out where people need to see that during this hard time, you know? You yourself have experienced hardship sure. and difficulty yeah. that makes you understand the journey of others. Can you tell me about that? Absolutely. I mean, I've been homeless multiple times in my life. I've slept in my car many times. Um, when I was a kid, you know, we lost our house. We got our cars repossessed. Um, we just, I remember Christmases where we had no, uh, we had no heater. We could, and a lot of times where we had no presents under the tree, you know, and um, I remember one time just seeing my dad crying, you know, when we lost our cars and the hardship we went through is something that actually inspired me to want to do what I do today. Um, and your father is here actually. Dad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, how did you raise a son like this? And are you so proud? Very, very proud of my, of my son. And the thing is that when you grow up as a parent, you should teach your kids how to be. And he's taught me how to be. To hear your dad say that, what does that make you feel? That's like, as a kid, that's all you can dream of, you know, is make your parents proud, you know? So that's everything. That, I already feel like I accomplished everything in life, you know, by that, you know, so. And your beautiful girlfriend is here, who I just <laughs> met as well. I mean, Hi. it must be nice, you know, all of us, uh, are looking for a partner who can inspire us and be an example. What are your conversations like at home? I'm just so <laughs> curious. <laughs> First thing, we definitely talk about his work a lot. He shares his 
ideas for projects, even though I've never heard a bad project idea that got shot down or didn't get fully realized. Um, he's a really powerful person and he's really easy to love. Um, you inspire so many people that um, today, um, we heard from some of them, and uh, they actually made a video for you this Wait, time. What? Let's take a look. Isaiah, hi. From all of us here at Eisenhower High School, we just want you to know how proud we are of you. Coming from a high school where the majority of us here are Latino, it really fills me with a great sense of pride. It really makes me want to succeed in this world when I see another Latino from Yakima, Washington, who's really succeeding in life. Every time I have a student that tells me that they they can't do it, or they have no purpose in life, or no goals. They tell your story. The fact that you came from Yakima, Washington, and went off to do all these amazing things is super inspirational. Keep spreading positivity the way you do. Well, Isaiah, there is one more thing. Um, the mayor of your hometown in Yakima, Washington, Patricia Berry, sent us a certificate of appreciation to thank you for all that no, you've done. Oh my God, wow.